That was fun. That was a cool level. Yeah, that was... I think that was Exit 3, actually. Black Waterfall. Okay, I don't think he had moving graphics in his, uh, his paintings. I guess that's a foreground object. The deaths are just happy little accidents in this hack. Oh. Okay. Okay, I got an idea. I need to jump on that that fireball before Yoshi eats it. I think? No, this is baby mode. I think the hack's just hard. I think it's just a hard I think it's just a hard effing hack, man. This one. There we go. All right. Oh, okay. I definitely knew I was going to die right there. Yeah, this is, it's tough. It's not like stupid, just ridiculously, insanely difficult, um, which I think is a nice breather for what I've been doing and what I'm about to do. Salty Sagan World was really hard, um, and I would say tedious at some points, and I had to, you know, I played the unpatched version for a little while and then went into the patch, so I'm, I'm happy to do this. Yeah, it's fun. Oh, dick balls. I gotta ditch Yoshi. No, I'm not sad I gotta kill Yoshi. I'm sad I didn't know I had to kill Yoshi. Because I would have loved to have known. You can just bang these levels out really quick, though. Oh, yeah, I guess you could have got that P-Switch with Big Yoshi. <laughs> You're totally right. I could have just went and hit the P-Switch. Cactus at sunset. This is this is an attractive level right off the bat. Oh wait. Oh, why did I try to do that? I know, I was going too fast. That's easier. Just doing it that way. I'm gonna let you fly by, and then we're going to. No! I thought we had that. That last. That last. What do you call those? Are those just flying Koopas? I feel like they need a more impressive name than just flying Koopas. Yeah, okay, it's easier if you don't go spiny to spiny. Yay! Uh, it is my first time. It's my first time ever going to, like, anything like this. Yeah, I, I would say this is my first, like... This is my first real vacation since before I got hurt, I guess. Or since our honeymoon, probably. We've had, like, a day here or there where we've got to do things. Oh. 
Okay, well I wish I knew I wish I knew which one was spin jump and which ones were regular uh regular jumps. Damn it. Oh! Almost, almost missed that last one. I'm, a I'm having a ton of fun right now, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm having an absolute blast. <laughs> Jimmy Fallon gets guest hosts. Um, okay, so I've done guest streamers before. And I think my problem is, I think the people I would want to guest on my stream now, like, they would just want to do their own stream, you know? Like, there's really little, very little point for them to guest on my stream. Maybe doing it as a favor to me. You know what I mean? So it's kind of like, why would they do that when they can just do their own stream? You know what I mean? Other than, like, I would guess for them one day. But... Yeah, I don't know. I don't think we'll we'll do guest hosts on the stream anymore. Happy accidents. Days gone by. Oh, I've had 99 happy accidents. Days gone by. Season 2, episode 10. Uh, I've said 99 deaths. That's hilarious. I, I, I was wondering if I had a death counter. Oops. That is happy accident 100. I got nervous right there. Um, George Clooney Cream is actually going to be here at my house. And I thought about having her do it, but I'm like, well, again, you have your own channel. Like, why would you not want to just stream on your own channel, I feel like, most of the time. Okay, that's just a jump. I was waiting for something to come and, like, be there, but that was just a jump over. <laughs> Botox? Uh, I don't think Botox is in the future for me. I don't think that's something that I'm pulling off. I'm dead. Ball nuts. Get a facial? Mm. Not only am I going to refrain from making some sort of joke that would make my wife go, Ugh. Um, I am going to just say that no, I don't think for me. Actually, maybe. You know what? While I'm in Mexico, I might get a facial, a pedicure, a manicure. I might do it all. It's included. I don't know. This is a hard level. Oh, cool. That's a cool little section, honestly. Oh, no. No checkpoint. I'm not gonna lie, I was really expecting a checkpoint. Oh. Well, if I don't know what a, what a jump is, I usually spin jump. Because in Mario Maker, if you don't know what a jump is, it's, all, it's kind of safer to spin jump, because you might make it. You might not. I don't know. It's always just a gamble when you're doing blind jumps. Okie dokie. Oh, I needed to spin jump there. I wasn't ready for that. See, I should have just spin jumped. I thought I had learned my lesson. That's a cool little maneuver. Checkpoint! Oh, hey, buddy. Hello, fishing boo, my old friend. Oh. 
We got some poo dress. Get a Go Sagan email? What, I mean, what, what, why would I? I'm so confused. Are you guys just asking me to get emotes of people that already have emotes of themselves? Like, I'm very confused by that. I gotta be honest. I don't. <laughs> I don't want to do that. <laughs> Oh my god, getting in pipes is the hardest thing. Oh, multiple checkpoints. Okay. Who, hey? Yeah, there's tons of hey emotes out there, though. Like, right? I, the baby mode here is like, I, I, I feel like baby mode is a bit of a stretch. I feel like he should just put like, normal functioning human mode against this because baby mode might be, uh, not fair. I don't know if it's fair to call this baby mode. This is fucking wonky. Maybe don't kill the disco shell. I'm trying not to kill the disco shell. I mean, he doesn't want me to kill the disco shell, right? All right, let's try just killing the disco shell and then just standing here. Like if I just stand here and wait for it to come down. Is it gonna go back up or is it gonna crush me? Okay, it's just gonna sit there and, and do neither, which is almost more degrading, I feel like. How's the hack so far? It's pretty. It's interesting. Dickwad. Disco shells are garbage. They're not my top five enemies to deal with, but they also provide a cool amount of gameplay and a bit of randomness. Which I appreciate. We're gonna go to the left side. Just f Oh, see, we shouldn't have done that. I kind of like disco shells. No! <laughs> Ball nuts! Yeah. Is there any lore besides why touching King Boo doesn't hurt you? I mean, off the bat, I would just say, because he's a ghost, but then you'd be like, well, all the other ghosts kill you in this game, and, and to that, I, I can't respond. Maybe the thing is, is that King Boo has achieved, like, full ghost recognition where the other ghosts haven't yet, so they're still, you know, effective in the spectral world, whereas, or n the non-spectral world? Wait, yeah, the non-spectral world? Whereas King Boo has crossed all the way over. But I think the real lore behind it is just that Nintendo's dumb. I don't think I don't know if Luigi's Mansion has hacks. I don't know what all you could do with Luigi's Mansion. Q Q Luigi's Mansion players would be like, yo. You can suck it. What can't you do with Luigi's Mansion? Wow. 
That's how you do it. You kill the disco shell when you don't need it anymore. When you don't need something, you just dispose of it. You're convinced that 40% of your deaths are from talking in chat? Uh, see, that's all part of my plan, though. I want to convince you of that, so you think to yourself, Oh, Pooh's a really great player, but he's just dying so much to entertain us. When in, when in all reality, it's that Pooh is a very average player. He just plays a lot until he wins. <laughs> 